<laughs> Way behind me. Yeah. <laughs> How do you feel about Arrow versus The Flash? Uh, I haven't watched The Flash yet, so that's next. That's what Saravo said. Well, how, how's the adjustment been for you moving to the D line? Well, I, I love it. Number one, uh, you know, as a coach, you always want to learn. You always want to challenge yourself. Uh, before I came here, I spent 18 years on the defensive side of the ball, so that's kind of where home is, and get a chance to learn from Snow and Saravo and you know, Coach Rule, coaching D line. I mean, I go in there all the time and ask him about the pass rushes. But it's a lot of fun. The, the, the guys, it's just different. You know, when you coach offense, it's very cerebral and. You know, it's a, kind of a thinking man's game. Defense is very aggressive. Get off football and get after the quarterback. So that's what we're trying to do. Does that fit your mentality too? I mean, it probably does. And, you know, a lot of energy. Um, I like that. You know, and and uh, it's, you know, snow coming in really talked about creating turnovers and kind of gave me some of that during practice. And so. That, that kind of fits my mentality a little bit more. Have you seen the progression that you guys have made from the offseason carry over to what you're seeing now in fall? No doubt. You know, uh, I, I think I said this a couple weeks ago, but you, you know, you're talking about like on the defense side of the ball. Uh, I think right now in our depth chart, we've got eight seniors that, and, you know, have been with us for three years that are starting for us, and, and a couple of juniors and Graylin and, and Lynch and those guys. So there's a lot of carryover with those guys. Real smart, and, you know, whenever you've got an older group, it, it means a little bit more. For whatever reason, it means a little bit more. Maybe they see the end of their Baylor career and how they want to go out and maybe go to the next level. So it does mean a little bit more when you got a older group. Have you seen some of these younger guys step into the roles left by the veterans on that D-line last year? Well, no doubt. I, I, I'll tell you, and, and I can't wait for you all to see us in scrimmages and, and uh, when we play on August 31st. But like a couple young guys are standing out, Zuzwa, I had, a, I had a great uh, last couple of days, and he's, he's really quick off the ball. He can really bend, um, you know, and, and Garmin coming in, another kid that's six seven. Um, he's got a really good speed rush. And the great thing is you have an older group like with James Lynch and, and uh, you know, um, Bravion and, and, and Lockhart. You've got those guys, and they really want to help grow these guys up. So it's always I'm coaching them, but those older guys are coaching them too. It sounds like you and Frank just kind of coach together. I mean, he, he said y'all are labeled your ends, he tackles, but y'all just kind of get in there and work together. Well, you know, you always, whenever a guy's played at the level he's played at, I'm always going to defer to, hey, you know, what do you think about this and this? And then you turn around with Coach Rule, Coach of the D-line also. Uh, but we do, we work a lot together. We'll split up during practice. He'll take the noses or the tackles, and I'll take the ends. Um, and then when we come to the team, I just get on one side and he gets on the other and we make sure they're running to the football. Coach was talking about the agility and the speed of, of the line. Is that something that y'all recruit for or is that just how the lines play nowadays from high school up? Well, I think what you're going to see um, now that you're getting into a group that, that uh, you know, with James Lynch and um, then you talk about Chidi and Solon and then you talk about the younger guys, you're fixed to see a lot of long really big, fast guys. I mean, just talking about the younger guys, it's pretty intimidating if you get the four guys between T.J. Franklin and and uh, Garmin, um, Harrison White, and then the big boy, Gabe. If you get those guys walking at you, I mean, that's 6'5", six, 6'6", five, six, five, six, six, and 6'7". Six, so you got a little bit different group going out there. And uh, But I'm never going to forget about those older guys because those older guys are the ones that are, are, are making everything go. When you got to Nose guard right now, Bravion Roy, that runs a sub five. I mean, he's probably a four nine, maybe even lower than that, at 325 pounds. I mean, those guys can really go. I think you're seeing a more athletic group out there. Mm -hmm. Lockhart, Lockhart, a guy that made a big jump in the spring. Huge, seems like huge. Lockhart, so many ways. I mean, uh, from the, I've known James for a long time, and uh, from whenever he was in high school and playing at Ennis. Uh, He's got a motor, and it, you know, like he had to sit a year, and then I think you start trying almost kind of felt his way into what he was going to do right now from the spring to and, and here. I mean, he knows he's a senior, knows this is it, and, and he's playing like a man with his hair on fire. Really excited about him. When Coach Snow more. talks about the 90 and the 10 percent where it was kind of lacking last year, creating those explosive plays for the opponents, how much of that fixing that? Falls on the defensive line, just kind of starting that momentum. Well, everything starts with us. I mean, when the ball snapped, we're going to have to put the pressure on 
the quarterback might put the pressure on the offense, the opponent's offensive line. I mean, really, honestly, whenever y'all watch us play, I want you to go, oh my gosh. And then from the oh my gosh is us getting off the football and, and how hard we're playing. So everything starts up front. Uh, and I think whenever you can play on the, the other side and establish another line of scrimmage, what we're trying to do, then it makes it really hard for the opponent. Is Lockhart, uh, Coach Oakham said, said confidence was a big thing. Was Lockhart a little nervous coming in as far as confidence goes? Well, I think a little bit of, uh, you know, you got you hadn't played in a year. You've been on a scout team, so knocking the rust off and then late in the year started playing a little bit better. Maybe confidence. And then I just truly believe whenever you have somebody that really, he cares about this team and cares about football, and it's his senior year. And so I think you saw that. I mean, let's go back a year from now and look at Ira Lewis and look at Greg's Roberts. Look at their senior year versus their junior year. Whenever you have guys that have been around here and it means something to wear the BU and the green and gold, it makes a big difference. All right. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks, Appreciate it. All right.